Welcome everybody, I'm Anna and I'm going to present you my project. It is about a short story called When Mr. Pirsatz Came to Dine and it is written by Jan Palahiris. The reason for choosing this short story is because it is about, it is about uh, the civil war that took place in, in India and it was in 1971. And uh, I have chosen this story because uh, I want my students to link uh, this topic and what happens in that story with uh, what we are living nowadays, which is the war. So with this in mind, um, well, first of all, um, I want you to, con to contextualize a little bit uh, this session is aimed for students of first of baccalaureate, so you are going to to see that it is a very difficult story, not so difficult, but um, it is a hard story because it express the the effects on the of the world, um, and it is hard to to read it. Um, so it is aimed for students of first of baccalaureate. Uh, they, they are all Spanish and it is also essential to mention that not, not uh, any of them have special, special needs. Um, also, uh, they have a B2, C1 level. Uh, Spanish is their mother tongue. So uh, English is their second language. And then the goals of the session uh, is basically that they are going to learn new vocabulary. Uh, they are going to improve their cultural awareness, which is very important. They are going to, to learn um, history because they are going to learn history of India. Um, and they are going uh, also to foster the critical thinking on the situation while reading the story. And what is the most important one is that they are going to understand uh, a short story and they are going to be able to do the different exercises that I'm going to propose to them. So, um, in order to show my students a little bit about the author, I'm going to present them uh, Jun Palahiri. Basically, she was born in, in London, but then, but then at the age of three, she moved to, to America. Um, she was, the, she was um, the daughter of Indian immigrants, so that is why she wrote a lot of stories about... Um, about Indian, about Indians, and also about uh, Indians immigrants, because her parents suffered many difficulties when they had to move to America. So that is why uh, when Mr. Pirsatz came to dine is a very a very important story uh, from a collection of books that she has. So with this in mind. Let's start. Before starting, uh, after they have read the story, uh, I want my student uh, to uh, express themselves, the main themes, and then to name the different characters of the story that are going to be Lilia, uh, Lilia's father, Lilia's mother, uh, and Mr. Pierce's. And also, I want, the, I want my students to put an adjective about any of them, um, oh, well, about all of them, because I want them to know uh, how they imagine that they are, just uh, after reading the story. And then I'm going, I'm going um, to show them uh, the first extract from for the uh, from the story, which is when uh, when Lilia. Uh, talks about the first visits and talks about uh, how uh, she feels um, when Mr. Pierce is at home. So while reading this, um, I'm going to ask, to ask my student 
a question and I want them to reflect on that. Uh, I have also present them uh, some maps about the situation um, of the war. Well, it, it was uh, uh, the situation pre-war and then how it is nowadays. And uh, the question says, uh, in this part of the story, Lilia's father describes uh, breakup, breakups of shirts. Uh, why do you think he's, uh, he's able to welcome Mr. Pearsatz into his home in spite, of, in spite of the fact he's Pakistani and Lilia's family is Indian? Reflect and share. So I want them to reflect on their own and, uh, and share with the rest with the rest of this of their classmates so with this exercise i want my students to reflect on the fact that okay they are from different they are from the same country by but their the country is divided so i want them to focus on the description lilias does in the story and then to reflect and to and to express their feelings and their emotions about what what the author is narrating through the story and this is a kind of a scaffolding to my students to understand and then uh, also the the fact that of reflect and sharing is a kind of strategies and method that i'm going to use with them then here is another extract uh, of the story um, in which uh, they stay at home and they start and, and they start to see the news. So in this part, uh, they start to see uh, the hard moments in which there are a lot of refugees, in which people is suffering a lot and things like that. So my students are going to be asked to uh, analyze the extract uh, from the text and to answer some questions. So I want them to create a dialogic talk uh, with your pairs and complete the table. So I want them um, to, um, to read it very carefully. And then I want them to write the powerful words from the extract, the key details, the setting. I want them to describe me the setting the tone in which the narrator talks about the situation and talks about the setting, and then the mood. And I think it is good to do it in pairs because they are going to help each other and to see different, different questions and different, and different ideas from, from their peers. And finally, uh, I have decided uh, to uh, show my students an extract um, of the effects uh, of the of the imminent war when the war uh, was going to be declared. So, with this in mind, uh, my student my students are going to reflect on this extract, and I want them to make connections. And what is the be the best connection linking this story? with the situation we are living nowadays, which is the war between Russia and Ukraine. So, now I would like to put yourself on Lilia's shows. I want my students to feel themselves as they are Lilia, and as they are feeling uh, that they are Indian, and, then, and that they are on that moment. And also, I want my student to feel that although we live in Spain and although we are in peace, uh, we uh, have to take into account that we are uh, that we are living in a world in which the in which there is a war, and that we can we have to do something to help. So, with this in mind, um, I'm going um, to, to say my students, this part, of the, this part of the story shows the imminent effects of the war. With this in mind, what similar message does the story 
transmit in relation with the situation of where we are living nowadays, discussing groups and share with the rest. So here is, a, is an image of 1971 of West Pakistan and East Pakistan, the world, and now an image of nowadays of Russia and Ukraine. So I want my students to, to discuss in, gra in groups and then to share with the rest of the class. So I want them to make a kind of debate and to talk a little bit. So about the concluding remarks, uh, my students uh, have been able to understand and to link the rhythm with the current events. And this session will help students to work on their personal growth, which is very important, and it is something that all teachers should take should take into account when, while preparing a class. Uh, and also to be aware, as I have said before, of how lucky we are. So thank you all for, for seeing my video. I hope you like this session and these activities. And that's all. So thank you.